when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. Why do watermelons have to have all those pesky seeds in them? Who needs the things? Don't you think it would be totally extra groovy if they were seedless? Bucky, nature gave them seeds for a reason. If not for the seeds, we couldn't plant more... watermelons. Who decided that? I don't accept it. Whoa! Idea! I'm going to take a watermelon and uh, something else and combine them. I'll make raspberries that grow right inside the jar. Just shake for instant jam. I'll make apple trees that grow apple pie. And see those watermelons that float like balloons. Why hasn't anybody because thought of this Because it's impossible. Before? Oh, not for a genius. <laughs> Meet my revolutionary new invention. The Combinotron Omatic Innatorizer! Ooh. Should we cheer? I'm gonna cheer. Yay! So it's straightforward. Watermelon here, and in here goes something else. Something seedless. Right. Franny, do you have anything without seeds? I've got this turnip. Um, yuck. Are you sure this is the only non-seed thing you have? All right, it's fine, I guess. Right. The turnip goes in, then press the button. Prepare to be wowed. Almost. A seed is born. Plant it. Water it. And watch. Bucky, it takes a long time to grow plants. That's all right. I'm super patient. I'll sit down right here and just wait. I'm not moving until I see a watermelon. Well, that's enough waiting. It'll grow without me watching. Let's kick the ball around, guys. Yay, good idea. And this time, you can be on Bucky's team, Franny. Aw, oh, Bucky! Pass it. Come on, I'm wide open. Well, looks like I got a penalty kick. What are you staring at? You'd better protect the goal. Earth to Bjorn and Franny. Yeah! What is that? Bucky, I thought you were trying to grow a seedless watermelon. Well, to tell the truth, I thought a giant turnip would be awesome. Look at that. I can make a pie. A gargantuan pie. I feel like a proud papa. And mama. Uh, Franny, wait. I've got this. A turnip this huge calls for some pretty high-level farming. And I happen to be a fifth-level manure belt in farm food. I'm a dirt whisperer. Okay, we should be able to pull it right out now. Oh, great. Could we get it out with a vegetable magnet? That's not a thing. Get real. Watch and learn, guys. To pull Turnipzilla from its deep dirt pocket, you need to use a super special turnip tugging rocket. Reliance on science can conquer veggie giants. Now for the scientific approach. Forget your farm food, Bjorn. Start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Ah! Goodbye, science. Goodbye, my friend. Your digging's the reason my turnip's in such a deep hole. And who was it that planted the dumb thing to begin with? But I planted the dumb thing for us. One, two, three. Bjorn, help me for just a minute. Ugh. Turnip, come out! Come on, then! Ugh. Heave! Ugh. Heave! Ugh. Just a bit more! Ugh. Chicky, come Ugh. pull with us! Ugh. Keep pulling! We need to work together! Ugh. Excellent! All right! <laughs> Wowzy, wow! That is the biggest turnip I've ever seen! Look at that! You can make your pie now! Knock yourselves out, guys! Turnipzilla pie a la Chef Franny the Fox! Turnipzilla pie again? There's 
there's no way I can eat this. There are panda bears starving in China, Mr. You know it's delicious, Bucky. Come on. It's so yummy. All we've eaten for a month is turnipzilla pie. Whoa, Bucky, take a look at that. Huh? What are those? <sighs> My floating watermelons are finally ripe. Not real clear on how we're going to get them down from there, though. The Neatonator. The genius at his labors, impressing all his neighbors. Bucky, come on, let's go play ball. Give me a minute. Uh, all done. With what? Only the coolest thing in the history of cool. Watch closely. Keep watching. Watch. What on earth? Wait for it. Now, watch this. The robot home cleaner. The Neatonator. I got so tired of cleaning. Then I thought, robot maid. I outfitted my house with a state-of-the-smart mechanical anti-mess system. Bucky, wow! That's just incredible! Ooh. The round, bouncy dirt has been eliminated! Come on! Give it a try! Um... Really messed stuff up! I just cleaned that! Then, when I'm finished making the mess, one push of a button and it's done! Wow, it's so awesome! Now I can spend all my time goofing off. Let's play some ball. Think fast! Oops, not a problem. Let the Neatonator do its job. The mess is only a symptom. I have identified the disease. Hang on. Did the Neatonator just call us a disease? The source of all messes. What's going on? Hey, <gasps> stop it! Wait, put us down this instant. I'm the one who made you. Must eliminate source of recurring messes. I don't think the Neatron likes us very much. Nader. Right, sorry. Ow. I mean, honestly, like I don't have anything better to do than pick up after a couple of furry slobs. Source of mess eliminated, mess eliminated. Much better. The genius will not be kicked out of his own home. Source of mess trying to return <laughs> and stay out. Well, great. My house just threw me out of my house. How does one handle that? I guess I'll have to stay with you. It'll be fun. Oh, my goodness. Franny, stop. She's headed to your house. Franny, hey, stop. Uh, Franny, wait. You can't go in there. She can't hear us. Franny. Vacate premises. I command you to comply. Oh, fine. Oh, no. Your house has taken Franny prisoner, Buck. All right, we have to plan a rescue. How will we get inside there? It's full of unfriendly robots. Robots everywhere. I'm getting an idea. We'll go undercover. Beep, beep, boop. Come on, Bjorn. You have to act like a real robot. Beep, beep, boop. Ow. I can barely move in this thing. Hospitality subroutine activated. Drink, eat, be our guest. Thanks very much. It's very clean in here. But where is Bucky? The source of all messes has been eliminated. Eliminated? Spill detected. New mess threat identified. Slob, slob, slob. Sorry, it was an accident. I'll clean it up. I can't see a dingle dee darn thing. All that matters is that we look like real robots. Command cleaning. Doorbell detected. Visitors unknown. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, boop. New models reporting for duty. Beep, boop. Yes, that's right. Boop. We're totally robots. Click. Woo. Oh. Highly improbable. Ow. Whoops. Oh. We're here Whoop. to rescue you. Yow. These new models are highly inferior. Bjorn, hey. What did you say? Messmaker, keep your voice down, Franny. See that remote control over there? You need to press the off button on it, all right? That remote up there? Suspicion protocols activated. Beep, boop. Source of mess has returned. Oh, no! Franny, come on! Press the button now! Uh, Negative. Uh, 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 Defensive uh, countermeasures uh, activated. Tightening this must win. Uh, Franny, hey! Heads up! Uh, Stop! Uh, Bjorn, throw! Some shot, Bjorn. Looks like the Neatonator has been eliminated.
What am I gonna do with this stuff? Could make a sculpture. I should just get rid of it. It's such a big cleanup job, though. I could really use some help with it. Know what? I'll build a robot to help me clean all this stuff up. Lucky, not again. You're right. Guess I'll just build a sweet sculpture. Can I give you a hand with that? Get it? Song for, for Franny. Franny. Every day just has a way Take of it, feeling Bjorn. extra lucky. When you eh, spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn, Bjorn and Bucky. Bucky. Bjorn and Bucky forever. Gosh, you guys are lucky. Must be nice to have your very own song. You could sing it with us. No one's stopping you. Nah, it's just about you guys. That's pretty clear. There aren't any songs about Franny the Fox. Yo! Ugh. Franny, why didn't you say something earlier? We'll come up with a special song just for you. The coolest song in the history of forever! Bjorn, you can write poetry, right? Poetry? I'm not entirely sure. I'm sort of good at it. Ish. You're hired, William Shakespeare. <clears throat> like the clouds above is the fox we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red. Uh, nope. It's just too simple. It doesn't work for me. Well, I liked it. I've got an idea that's way better. Time to be poetic. <laughs> the only one for the two of us, like 33 is 215. Like 8 set to 9 on the 0 of 2, I will find ways be your 12. How is that poetry? It's totally modern, so it's perfect for Franny's song. Seriously? That can't be put to music, it's just nonsense. But my poem's just right to sing. Like the clouds up above is the fox that we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red, ooh. Mine can be set to music as well. Just you wait. Time to be musical. <laughs> the only one for the two of us, like 33 is 250. Like eight set to nine on the zero of two, I'll five ways be your 12. That is something else. I like both of them lots and lots. Can I try singing them myself? Not so fast, Franny. Don't forget the dance. Every great song needs a dance. Bucky, can you do this? That? Of course! <laughs> Franny, <laughs> take a look at your own song and dance. Like the clouds up above is that box that we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red. Yeah! For the two of us, like 33 is to 15. Like 8 to 9 and a 0 of 2, all five ways be your 12. Well, gonna bust a move to the backbeat group, but you never ever seen a bear this move. Yeah! Awesome! Can I try? Hold it. There's something missing. What do you mean, Bucky? We have a song and a dance. We're ready for the stage now. You're right. What's missing is a stage. Guess what, Franny? I'm gonna build you the awesomest stage. You'll love it! If you wanna be the music phenom of the age, if you want your picture on every front page, if you want your dance moves to be like all the rage, then you're gonna need a first-rate super awesome stage. And once you got everything ready to go, just like the song says, it's time for the show. Ladies and gentle bears, give it up for the foxiest of foxes! Look, here comes the moon. This is one of the coolest ideas you've ever had. Thanks a lot. Let's cue the snow. Microphone. She looks like a star. Now shine. Like the clouds above is that fox we love. Sure as the Whoa. sun above my head, I'm red. Bravo. Brilliant. I love well, you. Well, what did you think, guys? Um, well, uh, it was all right. You just need a lot more rehearsal. A whole lot more rehearsal for sure. You're great, though. Like the clouds above is that fox we uh. love. Well, huh? was that better, fellas? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Just keep rehearsing, kid. Like the clouds above! You know what? There's such a thing as...
is rehearsing too much. But I can keep going. Nah, you don't want to exhaust yourself. <sighs> Maybe if I sing really loud. Like no, my, 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 no, my, my, my. we'll rehearse more tomorrow. After I've bought earplugs. Have you heard, heard, heard about the 